So what stitch will we use to do our Harlequin Beetle? Remember we've drawn the template. I've drawn in pencil the Harlequin Beetle outline. This is the guy, the sample I prepared before. Just a sample of using running stitch. This stitch here to create a whole different effect. So we're going to perhaps do running stitch around the body of the beetle first. We've knotted our thread and pick a starting point. So I'm going to start at the nose of the beetle, push the needle up through the fabric. Right. And now we're going to put the needle in and out and go all the way around. You need to think about how long you want your stitch to be. So, and whether or not you want your stitch to be consistent. So, we're going to decide that the stitch is going to be oop, this long, however long this is. And it's going to be that same size all the way around the beetle. Fabric's a little bit stiff. A trick also, don't pull your thread too hard because you'll pucker it up. And you want it to lie nice and flat for this one, so it'll sit on the tree really well. But I just want to show you, now that we've got the idea, needle in. I'm going to show you the back now. Needle poking through the back, see the back? And not where we started. Needle up. When you get proficient, you can scoop up quite a few stitches on your needle. But it really doesn't matter whether you do it one loop stitch at a time or several. So now I just want to go back to the sample underneath. So we've just done running stitch in this very similar thread. If we made different spaces, different depths or distances between the stitches, you could change the texture or, or length of the stitch and have a different effect. Here's a bigger stitch again. Here's a stitch using a really thick fabric. <laughs> Not fabric, sorry thread, it's a um, tapestry wool, and here's um, some very fine threads. Once we've done that, we could then move on, depending on what your project is, what you decide to stitch, you can make swirly lines, curvy lines, swirls, circles. The world's your oyster, you don't have to stop just at that. Okay, I've whizzed around the beetle and I just want to show you how to finish a thread. So it won't be too long. A little bit stiff, I've lost my momentum. You do get a nice rhythm going. Sorry, I did that very quickly. I've pushed the needle through, turned the fabric over. Now, you know how I talked about you could secure the thread at the beginning by doing a couple of very small stitches? Do that at the end. Two small stitches, you don't have to take it all the way through the fabric. And that will just create a nice knot Snip your, snip your thread. Okay, we might cut the tail of the other one a little bit too. It's a bit pokey out. Okay, and now we've got it secured. It won't come undone. Now we can thicken up this line, make it thicker by doing another lot of running stitch to fill the gaps. But my favourite way is to whip something. Now, I don't mean that literally. I've got another bit of thread loaded onto a needle. So I'm going to show you how I'd whip this. I wanted to show you on the, our little sample piece what it looked like when it's whipped. The thread goes under all the running stitches. It doesn't pass through the fabric. It goes, just slides under the running stitch. And we'll do that to the beetle that, body that I've just stitched now. So I'm going to Pull the needle up. See, we've got a knot at the end. It's going to have a pointy nose. So, we're going to pass the needle under your running stitch. Then you're going to bring the needle back again and pass it under. Always pass under from the same side. If you don't, it doesn't matter. And let me show you. What you'll end up with is a lacing stitch. If you go from different sides, and it's just as pretty, but it has a slightly different effect. Let's lace his bottom <laughs> and whip his sides. Doesn't have to be a real 
beetle. A realistic beetle, I should say. Okay, so where are we about? Back to about here, and then I'll just keep on whipping again. And when I finish, I'll hold it up or put it down. 